All right, so first up, we've got Tomi Ariyomi. Now, this is the video that I watched. You can see the title. 111,000 views. This is put up five months ago. So we're going to listen to a clip from Tomi here, and then we'll, we'll comment after, uh, after we hear it. I asked the Lord what this unhappy cloud was. And he said, Tomi, when you go into Canada, I need you to deal with the demonic spirit of politeness. I stood back for a second, and like many of you watching, what is the demonic spirit of politeness? Well, Canada, like the UK, where I come from, is a very polite nation. Everybody says sorry, everybody says please, everybody says thank yous, all in the right and even the wrong places. And I realized that some of that can actually be rooted to a demonic spirit called politeness. And Okie dokie, yeah. The demon spirit of politeness. He said God was telling him about this. And of course, you know, because that's a thing, right? You guys didn't know that. That's a thing. So, wow. Okay. Good grief. Good grief. What is this all about? Well, a couple of things. We know that with the false prophets, the false teachers, the storytellers, that they often put demons behind many different things. You know, the, the demon of driving too fast, the demon spirit of stinginess, or the, uh, the demon spirit of foot odor. Evil spirits of eating chocolates. It's it's always something. You know, God forbid there should be any self-accountability, right? It's always a demon behind everything. And well, in this case, what happens when they run out of explanations and they've used up all the demons of things? Well, they get creative. And they've got to bring a new thing, a new demon. So that's what Tommy's done here. He's gotten a little creative here. And maybe added in a little bit of shock value, because this is kind of shocking when you hear it. And I bet you didn't know that demons of politeness can hijack an entire nation. This, of course, being Canada in this case. And cause the people not to murder, not to commit adultery, not to steal. No, no. It can cause people to be just too darn polite. It's a real problem, and clearly the problem of being polite is destroying Canada. It's just destroying Canada. But I think Tommy's on to something here now that I think about it, because when I was in Canada last year, and I went to check out of my hotel, and the clerk there said, Hey-ho, I hope you enjoyed your stay, sir. And I remember this wicked, evil presence coming upon me from this person as he smiled and handed me a complimentary orange juice. And I thought to myself, good grief, what kind of diabolical evil is this coming from this warlock hotel clerk? This politeness is just so evil. So, you know, I did the natural thing. I rebuked him and commanded that he resist these demons of politeness. And he looked at me and said, well, what am I supposed to do? And I said, just don't be so darn polite. It's evil. So he punched me in the face and said, take off, hoser. <laughs> yeah, it's, this is a true story. And uh, so I stood back up and I wiped the blood from my nose and I said, okay, all right, that's better. I can really feel the love of God coming through you now. Now that that demon of politeness is gone. So yeah, wow. Anyway, forgive me for my silliness. Yeah, it, it is just that stupid, isn't it? But consider something when it comes to people like Tommy here. Sadly, this works. People will believe that this is a real thing. And I'm sorry that I even have to say this, but if you're polite, stay polite. It's a good thing. It's kind. And there's no explanation that Tommy can give here which could make any sense after that original statement. Politeness is good. People prefer polite. It's wonderful. So again, this is just another shtick, another tactic. They want you to believe that there's something out there that's not out there. So I wanted to just show this to you, just so you could see how ridiculous. Now look at him. He is a confirmed false prophet. This is not a debate. This is confirmed. I've done a video on him. 
But what they like to do is set themselves into positions of authority and make you believe that they are great ones of God. And this is nonsense. Stay away from this guy. 